Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Tensita Johnson and today I'm back with my dear model Marta and I'm going to show you how we did this combination of a Dutch braid in the middle and two French braids by the side. With the end, with the tail of my comb, I'm sectioning off the crown hair and I do this in a kind of oval shape. So take the sides grab the hair and then define the part line. This can take some time but you know preparation is key so take your time if you can and you will have a neater result. For a second I clipped this hair away, the crown hair and joined the rest of the hair. Now you're going to make a middle parting And this middle part I'm sectioning again with two triangles, a bit smaller than the sides. So you have actually perhaps uh, always a third of the hair in the middle and then by the sides. The middle parting like you see here is also a light or slightly oval shape. And I'm going to just make some kind of bun and clip the hair away. Now do the same thing with the sides. Here I'm using hair ties because I want it to be tight by the side so that when I start to braid the middle braid I do not have hairs in my way. So this looks a bit strange but the result is what counts. I'm applying some hair gel with the toothbrush now on the top to avoid flyaways and to tame the hair. So you know this process. Comb the gel neatly through. And then take from the very front a small section of hair. Split it into three equal sections. There you have now your three strands and we're going to do a Dutch braid. So right goes under the middle, left goes under the middle. This is the first stitch and then when right goes under the middle you add in hair from the side. Here you see it again. Right goes under the middle. Take a small portion of hair from the side and do this kind of braiding until you have no more hair from this parting to add in. And then I'm going to keep on braiding until the very end. Use some gel or hair wax for the ends so that they won't stick out any hairs and take a small clear elastic. Now for the edges where she has a lot of baby hairs for the side braids where I'm going to do the French braid I'm using this hair wax from Cantu you can find it anyway in the shops or on Amazon or whatever. Just check it out. And we do the same like we started the middle braid. We take a small portion of hair from the front, do three strands, equal they should be, but now go over the middle strand. And before you go over, add in some hair from the side. So I show you again. Hold the three strands. If there are tiny hairs, use some more wax. And I do the French braid like you've seen here at the very beginning. Just go back if you have not seen the difference. I first add in some hair to the strand before I bring it over. This is the difference and for me the result is neat like this way and because I'm braiding palms up here, Perhaps it's because of that, I don't know. So then I'm taking the braid to the opposite direction so that I braid already in the direction where I want this braid in this style to go later. This always helps to avoid strange little bubbles that could stick out when you are braiding. And now we have the middle braid, the Dutch braid, and the other one that goes to the opposite side and I'm clipping it away 
so that I am free and calm to do her right side. And on the right hand side we do exactly the same thing, applying some hair wax at the edges and you will do the same. I'm going to speed this up now, but take again the front section, a small one, three strands and bring left over, right over. And now before, oops, the wax was slipping away, before you bring it over the middle, add in some hair. You see it here again, join to the strand some more hair and bring it over the middle. Then the left hand strand, join some hair to the side and bring it over the middle. And then you just keep on braiding like you've done it already on the side before. So always first join, bring over, take some hair, join it to the strand, bring it over the middle. This is how we're going to do it until we reach the end. And there you take another small elastic. Now I'm taking the middle braid and I want to cross the side French braids over. So I'm checking where they fall naturally. And then I'm just pulling it to the opposite strand on the other side from the braid and I'm using the topsy tail tool to make it easier to bring the end of the braid through. Pull carefully, make sure that the braid does not turn. And then we have this beautiful pattern. I hope you like our style from today. If you're new on our channel, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below if you have any request or any comment to do and see you very soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.